Friday. Welcome back to Devotions with Emma and Sammy. We're so excited that you're here with us today. Um, today, we are going to be talking about the difference between believing in something and trusting your belief in that thing. So you could be asking yourself, what? That doesn't make any sense. Good thing we're going to talk about it today. Um, but first, we're going to head over to Emma for our main idea and verse. Yes. So our main idea today is believing in Jesus. And our verse is from John chapter 3, verse 16. God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. That is it for our verse. Over to you, Sammy. Yes, thank you, thank you, Emma. So let's talk about this difference between believing in something and trusting your belief in something. Here are some examples. Let's take airplanes. You could look at an airplane and say, yips, yips. <laughs> you could say, yes, that is an airplane. Airplanes are made to fly, and that's probably what that airplane does. But that, over here, is separate than getting on that airplane, trusting that it's going to lift you up, fly you somewhere, and drop you down all safely and comfortably. So you believe that it's an airplane, yes, but you trust that belief by getting on the airplane. Here's another example, exercise. You could say it is a fact that exercise is good for you, it's good for your heart, it's good for your lungs, it's good for your body and your mind. All that is true. Exercise is good for you. But if you really believe in that, then you're going to exercise. You're going to trust that exercise is good for you and do those things. So do you see the difference between believing in something and trusting your belief in something? Believing in Jesus is the same way. You could know Jesus is real. Yep, I believe everything that he did for us. That's a fact. Jesus is real. But that's different than actually trusting your life in Jesus, learning more about him, letting him shape you, being hungry for him and depending on him. That's all separate than just saying, yes, he's real. Um, because believing in Jesus is separate than having a relationship with Jesus. Because when in a relationship, you know that it's not just one-sided. You know that when you pray to him, it's a conversation and that he'll listen to you and you'll listen to him as well. Um, so for our question today, I want you to keep thinking about this idea of believing in something versus trusting that belief. And I want you to notice it throughout your day. So maybe you look at a chair and you say, I believe that that is a chair and chairs are made to hold you up. But that's different than sitting in that chair and believing that it will hold you up. So think about that today and then think about that with your relationship with Jesus. Do you believe that he's real? Yes. Awesome. Great. But do you trust that belief and trust your life to him? So that is all I have for today. We're going to head over to Emma for our invitation. All right, so today is National Bowling Day. So we would like to celebrate by inviting you guys to go virtual bowling. Um, I found an online bowling game and I will leave it in the description box below. Have fun bowling and also have a great weekend. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.